Good morning, family. Welcome to the morning devotions as we go through the blessing challenge. I want to encourage you, stay connected. We've come a couple of days now. This is day five and we're going on, staying in the word, staying in the promises of God, activating the blessing by reading what the blessing has said and declared over our lives. I want you to know that God loves you so much. He has already bless you. Every one of the 30 blessing areas that we're looking at for the next month, for the month of November, is an established reality. It's not something he's trying to do. It's not something he's praying about doing. It's something that he has already done for you. Glory to God. Well, today we are looking at the blessing of wealth, the blessing of wealth. And I'm going to read two passages of scripture that are really a great blessing to me. The first one is Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. It says, the blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich. And he adds no sorrow with it. The blessing of the Lord, it makes rich. Now, that's a word that is it just means what it means. Rich means fat, full, abundantly furnished, overflow. It's the blessing of the Lord that makes rich. Every single person in the Bible that the Bible accounts as becoming wealthy or rich, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, all of them were wealthy. Abraham was wealthy because of the blessing. We're going to read a scripture about him just now. But every other man of God. Even when we look at Job, the Bible says Job was a man who had righteous wealth. That means wealth and righteousness can go together. Being rich, being wealthy can go together with the blessing of the Lord. So I want you to know that God is ordained for you to be wealthy. God is ordained for you to be rich. The blessing of the Lord, it makes rich and he adds no sorrow. The next scripture I want to read, the second scripture for today is in the book of Genesis chapter 24 and the very first verse reads, And Abraham was old and well advanced in years, and the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. And the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. Praise God. He was old. That's a good thing. Remember we spoke about the blessing of long life. The blessing of health, well, the blessing of health and long life is manifesting here. Abraham was old and well advanced in years. This is your story. You better type right there. This is my story. This is my story. I will grow old and healthy, live long upon the earth and be well advanced in years. And then it says, and the Lord had blessed Abraham in all Things. The Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. This is your story. Glory to God forevermore. I want you right now, right where you are, to stand up and declare this out loud. If you are able to shout it, that will be good. Declare, I am healthy. I am wealthy. I will live long upon the earth. And I am blessed in all things. Earlier on in Genesis, the Bible says when Abraham came out of Egypt, that the Lord had made him wealthy. It says, and Abraham was rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. That's your story. You're wealthy in cattle, in silver, and in gold. Let me bless you right now. Father, in the name that is above every name. I release your blessing upon every man and woman of God watching this program. Every son and daughter, Father, that has activated their covenant through their tithes, through their offering, through their giving, through their serving. Lord, I bless them. Show yourself strong on their behalf. Do what you've never done. Show them what they've never seen. May they experience the blessing of the Lord and, and stand up and say, truly, the blessing of the Lord is upon my life. You are blessed. God bless you. We'll see you again tomorrow morning. Same time. Share this link with somebody and let them activate the supernatural blessing in their life. God bless you.